Here I have Samsung Galaxy A8 2018 and let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following device. So let me show you how to accomplish unlocking FRP on the following smartphone. So at the very beginning let's use the tutorial from hardreset.info. Here you need to download a couple of things. The USB drivers, the Samsung Odin software, the mini ADB and fastboot, the FRP unlocker by Hard Reset team, the Samsung combination firmware, you can use our uploads, for example from the 2018 uploads, here we've got the folder for your device, so for the Galaxy A8, this is the folder SMA50F, this is the exact model number of your device, and here we've got two combination firmware, so you have to make sure which of them you have to use so let me show you how to check it let's press power key on your device choose power off tap power off again wait until your device will be completely switched off and afterwards let's use the following combination of keys power key and volume up so let's hold down together these two keys just for a few seconds release both keys as soon as galaxy a8 logo pops up Wait for the Android recovery mode. You have to check out the version of your device. So as soon as no command logo pops up, start holding power key and when holding power, press volume up once. Alright, and here you can use the following information, your model of the firmware, it's A5030F XX U1, so this is my model, F5030F FFX U1, so let's use right click, choose download and standard download. What's more here, you can also check out the CSC code, XEO, so let's just remember this code. I will use it later. So now let me just press reboot system now. So let me navigate by using volume keys to reboot system now and press power key to confirm it. The device is booting. And you also need to have the regular firmware for your device, the standard firmware with ADB communication. Here you may also use our uploads from Mega Drive right here. So let's use the following folder SMA5030F and you can download this firmware. You can also do it by using our other tutorial, firmware change update. And here, basically, let me show you how to do it. If you would like to download your own firmware, let's just download and unpack some firmware. Let's download and uh, unpack Odin. And afterwards, you need to open the some firmware so let me do it here i have unpacked some firmware let me open this right here and here you need to enter your model number so in my case it's sma5030f and you need to enter your region in my case it is xeo you can check out this in the recovery mode or you can use our tab we prepare for you country carrier samsung tab here you have to open this country carrier Samsung tab and let's choose your country. In my case, for example, it's Poland right here and let's check out your carrier. So let's choose your carrier. In my case, let me use without the carrier. So my code is XEO. So when you have input model and region, you have to also choose uh, the auto binary nature check CRC32 decrypt automatically now choose check update the firmware is looking for the newest software available as you can see here you can download the software let's just tap download wait until the download will be completed afterwards the some firmware will check CRC32 and decrypt the uh, firmware and that's it then you will be able to unpack the firmware and use it so as you can see right here, in my case, I've got everything in a download folder. Here I have everything downloaded, unpacked and installed. All, all drivers are installed or 
the following files are unpacked. Here I have my combination firmware, here I have my uh, regular firmware with IDB communication. So now I need to open the Odin. Let me open Odin right here. This is the Odin software, that's right. And now let's enter the download mode on your device. So let's press power key again, choose power off, tap power off one more time. Let's wait until your Samsung will be completely switched off and afterwards let's use this combination power key, volume down and volume up. Let's hold down together these three keys for a couple of seconds. As soon as warning pops up let's press volume up to continue and this is the download mode. So now let's connect your device with the PC by using the USB-C cable. So let me do it. Alright. The Samsung is connected as you can see on your Odin software the device is added so you are, you also need to choose the options right here choose auto reboot and factory reset time and now let's flash your device with the Odin with the uh, combination firmware so let's choose AP right here choose your combination firmware here I have my one let's tap open let's wait until the AP will be loaded Excellent, the AP is loaded, so now let me tap lock to see everything and choose start right here. The device is flashing by the combination firmware, let's wait a few seconds. Alright, the flash is done, now you may simply disconnect your Galaxy A8, let me do it from the PC, so let me just use the USB-C cable, let me disconnect it, let's wait a couple of seconds. As you can see the factory binary is loading, so it's a good sign. Alright, now let's use the following apps icon right here on your device. Let's find and select the settings. Scroll down and let's make sure that you have enabled developer options. If not, let's just choose more. Sorry, let's just choose about the emulated device and let's tap a couple of times on build number. Now let's go back, choose developer options again. And here you need to unable USB debugging so let's scroll down as you can see in my case USB debugging is enabled but let me do it again USB debugging is enabled so it's a good sign so afterwards you need to turn off the device now let's enter the download mode again so let's press power key volume down and volume up together these three keys this combination of keys keep holding those three keys the warning pops up, press volume up to continue. Alright, the download mode is already on the screen. Now let's go to your Odin again. Here let's choose reset to reset all the following options. Let's connect your device by using USB-C cable. Alright. As you can see on your Odin, the device is added. Now let's again go to options, choose how to reboot and factory reset time, alright, 
Now let's load the firmware. So let's choose BL file. So this is my firmware. Choose BL. Now choose AP. This is the largest file, so we have to wait a few seconds, maybe a few minutes. So let's be, let's be patient. Alright, the AP is loaded, so now let's go for the CP file. Let me choose it right here. And now CSC, but it's important to choose the home CSC. So let me do it. Let's choose home CSC right here. And now you are ready to flash your device with your firmware, so let's tap start. Let's wait until the flash will be completed. As you can see the flash is done, now you may disconnect your device, so let me do it. Alright, let's just wait a few seconds until your device shows you the welcome panel. Alright, let's unlock the screen right now. Here, let me accept the conditions. As you can see, my device right now is in the... has the, the language from my firmware, so we have to be aware of this. Alright, let's accept the terms and conditions, tap next. So now as you can see you can change your language if you would like to, so let me choose general management tab language 
Let me add the English one right here. All right, set as default. And as you can see, just activate your device without the Google uh, the Google account. But to complete the full unlocking process, you you can also accomplish the hard reset operation by choosing the menu. Let's also choose developer options. Let's enable OEM unlocking, tap turn on, and to fully erase the factory reset protection, let's choose general management, tap reset, factory data reset, choose reset, and delete all. Let's wait until the process will be completed. Alright, the welcome panel pops up, now let me make sure that I can activate my device without the Google verification. So let me choose my language, tap start, let me quickly go through this process, tap next again. Next, let me skip the Wi-Fi, let me agree to terms and conditions, tap next. If everything is alright with the date and time, let's tap next. Let me choose no thank you to the setting up screen lock, tab skip anyway. Tab more to Google services and agree. Let me skip the Samsung account, tab skip. Tab finish. Later. And that's it, as you can see you just activate your device without the Google account. So it means that you fully erase the factor risk protection. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel, leave thumbs up under the video.